I just felt like now was the perfect time to come back home, especially to the WSL. I always knew I wanted to come back and play in England one day and I always felt like I wanted to play forever and again as well. I enjoyed my time so much when I was first here um, that I knew I had to come back. The things I miss most about Spain is the obvious, the weather. I miss the girls also. I met so many good friends over there, both at Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. It was just a different lifestyle that, that I really enjoyed and a great experience, one I'll never forget. But it was definitely the time to come home. I don't know if I miss a bowl of scouts and just being with the family, so hopefully that'll make up for um, the little tapasses in the sun. For me, the biggest differences on the pitch between Spanish and English football was definitely the style of play. I think even if you look at the men's game, they're a lot more patient on the ball. The build-up's a lot slower. And I think technically it was a different level over there. I think it really tested me in many ways, but definitely technically every team that you come up against, whether it be bottom, bottom of the league, top of the league, um, it was really difficult test and they, every single player on the team was so technical. Wow, you don't want to be stuck in the middle of a rondo. But yeah, I, I really loved it. It took me knowledge and my game to the next level and hopefully I can bring that back to England with me now. My fondest memory of the last time I was in the WSL has to be winning the league with Manchester City. I, um, I tried so many times, even at Everton, to win the league in England. Fell short so many times to Arsenal back then. So yeah, to win it with Manchester City was definitely one of the highlights of my career and I felt like that also convinced me that I needed a new start and a new project, which is why I went to Barcelona. Playing for Everton means so much to me. Um, someone that's always been loyal and never forgot where I've come from and Everton definitely set me on the path to being a professional footballer, to being a good person. It taught me everything I ever knew. Um, big thanks and special credit to Mo Marley who helped me so much along the way. But Everton Football Club gave me that platform and that's why I'm so happy to be back here now and hopefully I can help more youngsters along the way. We've definitely got so many special talent on the team that I can hopefully try and help one or two percent. I want to get back in the Champions League with this football club because that's where we belong. Success for Everton would be qualifying for the Champions League. It's going to be really difficult. There's so much good quality in the league now, but I believe that we have the quality to do it. Yeah, it's going to be a big year, a big season. We know how important it is, but our focus is Champions League football. Success for me would be Everton being in the Champions League also, because it means I've contributed to it. Whatever way, shape, form that comes in, I don't really care. I've always been a team player, and if I can help the team 80%, 50%, 20%, whatever it be, I will contribute. Also, I will be happy to be back in the England squad, so that's a big ambition of mine this year. But it starts on a Sunday or on a weekend with Everton. Yeah, Manchester City is going to be a tough test. You know, I really loved my time there. It was a great experience. We were very successful at the time. It's a bit of a different Manchester City team now. Still really difficult, obviously under a new manager. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they're going to be like. I haven't played against them for a while. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it.